So let's talk about how a narcissist's character structure gets developed. So you've seen this Hilton diagram. So what we have is, you know, this being coming into the world. All they want is to love and be loved, to be alive, to be expressed, to be expressive in the world. And then depending on the parenting that they get, the nose, the environmental uh, negative responses will stop that outflow of energy and authenticity. And then what we do to protect ourselves is create defenses. We create those defenses in the body, we create those defenses uh, emotionally, mentally, physically, uh, in all ways. Because it's a survival mechanism. We're smart. <laughs> We're survivors. You know, we want to be able to get whatever we can get from our caretakers. So we figure out who they are and who they want us to be. And then we become that. And it's all unconscious. That's the thing that's very important. This is an unconscious defense structure. And it's so difficult to move through it because it starts to feel like this is who we really are. And we forgot this part of us. And when this tries to surface, we squish it because we're afraid that we're going to get judged. What are they going to say? I know what that pain is like. I know what that heartbreak is like. And I don't want to experience it again. And oftentimes, we're the first ones that judge us. Oh, I sound stupid. I hear this in my office all the time. Oh, I don't like the way I sound. We have Up until then, we are enmeshed. We are symbiotic with our parents. You are me, I am you. There's no separation. There's no difference. Now we start to see they are outside of us. There is a difference. I am separate from you. And I want that to be supported. So depending on what happened in your parents' life, whether they can tolerate your autonomy or not. So what we do is we adapt in the body. I mean, the narcissist adapts in the body. The energy is held up. They're not grounded because if they're in their body, then they're going to feel the pain. They're going to feel the vulnerability. They're going to feel the heartbreak and they can't tolerate it. None of us can, and we adapt in different ways. But the narcissist at this age starts to pull up out of their feet, out of their legs, out of their pelvis. And the belief system is, I will live without feeling helpless and contact the world through controlling helpless, helpfulness. The ego ideal is I want to be on top. I don't need support. I can do it myself, I'm special, I'm the best. So there's the fragility underneath this. Because if I am not the best, if I do not succeed, if I do not perform well, love is withdrawn.